Hello, everyone. I'm Sonali Jajodia. I'm a gut health coach and an entrepreneur, uh, founder of Happy Gut Company, along with my sons, Abhina and Ariman. Uh, some story time. Today, I am uh, here to share a very personal journey with you, a very personal story with you. Tell me what connects each one of us with the other. Tell me, how do you feel a connect with the other person? Anybody? How do you feel a connect with the other person? Empathy. Any more? Lovely. How about stories? When you hear stories, remember the childhood days? The more stories we read, the more we, we, we have all those stories in our little gut wisdom bag here. And every time we are faced with a situation, even today, we go back to those stories, don't we? So stories have been such a beautiful medium of us sharing, sharing uh, how we overcame something, sharing, uh, sh sharing any situation and what supported us to uh, overcome that situation, what strengthened our beliefs. So today I'm going to share a story of uh, gut wisdom, a, a story of how we as a family found our light within. And the intention to share the story with all of you is that I hope all of you feel more empowered. You start believing in yourself more. Well, a bit after what you hear from me, because I did realize during the journey, the more I looked outside for answers, of course, there are lots of answers outside. It's overwhelming. There's so much of data. There is, there's so much of information. I fear took over. But every time I went back inside and went back to my childhood stories, I felt a sense of calmness, a sense of clarity, and uh, that along with a sense of purpose, it helped me move forward. Food has always fascinated me. Being a, I remember even being a little girl, the visits to my nani's home were the most exciting time of the year. I mean, no other place in the world would replace my, that trip to grandparents' home. And what fascinated me, of course, besides all my cousins and mamas and mommies, masis, it was uh, how, how magically my family, my nani and everybody treated food. And uh, that was like the first line of treatment, you know. Anything that went wrong in the house, one, I'd never seen doctors in my life, you know, that time. So anything that happened, they would go to the kitchen, make a blend, and boom, gone. Be it a toothache, be it a stomachache, be it any of the mommies pregnant, be it the babies. Everything was taken care with the first line of treatment, and that was, that was the condiments, herbs, and spices from the kitchen. That time, we did not have the kind of health issues we have today, but whatever they were, they were taken care of. Uh, e even, even be it uh, grooming, the uptans and the, and the massages, and we had these ladies, the nave guns used to come to, you know, do these uh, rituals, uh, these uh, uh, massages on us, and uh, today I'm glad we are reconnecting to all of that. Well, uh, after that, I went ahead, um, me and my husband, we went to do our MBA with the intention of uh, joining back our family business, which was steel. But, uh, well, that happened for a while. My kids came along, and uh, a typical mother, always paranoid, every time they had a cold, every time they had a cough, running to the doctor, a prescription written medicine. I'm like, no, that's not right, you know. I mean, that's not the way I grew up. Because my wisdom, my stories didn't have medication there. And that is where I said, I said, I must look for an answer. I have had this exposure to food. So why not look for ways where I can avoid the medications till I am able to? So I went ahead studying nutrition. I went ahead studying food as medicine. And I qualified myself to be a doctor in alternative medicine. And uh, sadly so, ironically so, my first patient was my own son. He had a brain stroke when he was 12 years old. And uh, multiple surgeries, like uh, somebody just said that, uh, yes, even the neuro doctors agree that they don't know it all. So it was one surgery after another, after another, nine brain surgeries. He was in coma for a year and a half. And we were, they put their hands up. They said, it's over. Pull the plugs off. But... A mother's heart. 
You cannot put the plugs off. And that is when I said, you know what? We go back to our roots and we go back to everything that I know. And I told the doctors, I said, see, I'm qualified now. And now that you've given up, allow me to do whatever I believe in. And that is where, I mean, I had a tube in his stomach, so all the concoctions, everything started going from that. And slowly we saw signs of revival. It was, it was beautiful and there was no room for error there because it was my child I was dealing with here. And slowly as they started working, the confidence of going back to the roots using all that we all know. Have you all not uh, uh, experienced that kara when we had the golden cough? Raise your hands. How many of us have experienced it? Have all of us not gone back to breathing when we got anxious? We have. So the simple things in life which we all have grown up with, it, this incident made me believe stronger in that. And um, that is when I decided that I must uh, start practicing everything that I've learned to connect all of you to the simplicity, to our roots, to our humble herbs and spices and condiments. Because Mind you, these herbs and spices and condiments, though we don't have a data to show that how powerful and potent they are, but they have stood the test of time for thousands of years. Every civilization, every tribe, they would have rejected it wrong, long back if these blends didn't work, but they stayed there. And they worked for me this time. And now I wanted to come and help as many people as I can who were trying to reinvent the wheel I said, hang on, I have something here that's helped me. How about you trying it? And yes, be it uh, Parkinson's, be it MS, be it acidity, migraine, be it that acne, P PCOS. So I had clients from different walks of lives with different ailments. And just hearing them out, understanding them, a very personalized approach, but, uh, and then helping them with these blends saw the body calm down. Because what I had learned, even while growing up, tell me, do, does anybody know how big your gut really is, starting from your esophagus right till down bottom, how many feet it is? 30 feet. And it is covered with a very thin lining there. It's a very delicate, thin lining there. And what's happening with time, the more this toxicity, toxicity not only of the foods, but of stress, uh, of... Uh, of performance. There, there is so much that the body has to deal with that the lining is saying, you know what, I'm getting tired. And I remember my nani asking me, but if the lining is getting eroded, how much of it is actually getting absorbed? That is where I remembered all these humble spices and herbs and condiments which are actually called prebiotics now. And they are the food for these gut flora. They are the food for this beautiful thin lining. They not only help detox, but they also enhance the lining. And that is what helped my children then. So I said, okay, on a daily basis, this is something gentle, simple, and this is something we've done for generations. Let's include this in our daily living. And I started seeing the results. So be it with my clients or be it with uh, my own family, this became a way of life. Uh, as I got back to work, so when we talk about mental health, it's not what you speak to the children. It is what you do in front of them. So me going back to my work was, I never intended to work to start with. I never intended uh, to have this brand, Happy Gut Company, but it came out of a pure intention of, guys, don't reinvent the wheel. I've done a bit of work. Now listen to your gut. Let's work together in you understanding your gut wisdom and take it on from there. When I went back to my work, that's when my children started doing things they believed in. Abhinav was out of coma, he's worked really hard, he went back to golfing, he went back to swimming, he went back to gymming, and he took wellness quite seriously because he'd experienced the journey. My younger son, Ariaman, he was passionate about tennis, so he went ahead and he went on the international circuit and he wanted to pursue tennis there and that's where he went. So my children also flew off the nest made an attempt to fly off because I wanted to fly off. So it is the silent message that you're giving to your children all the time. And uh, 
after all this, COVID hit. And thank God for COVID, we started it actually noticing ourselves. How many of you actually went back to thinking the foods that you enjoy or the laughing with the family? Do you all remember spending more family time, enjoying your biryani, enjoying your what, whatever that you enjoy doing, you got time to do it. Did you all get to do that during, during COVID? Did you? Yes, so did I. <laughs> and another great thing happened during COVID. We said these blends and um, these condiments and spices that's helping us, why not put it there for people, for them to daily detox, daily enhance, using something that is from the kitchen, doesn't have any side effects. We went, we went struck, you know, systematically, we got ourselves lab tested, we got ourselves the food license. We wanted to make sure it's safe for everyone. And uh, that was the birth of Happy Gut. So Happy Gut came into being. And the intention of my consults in Happy Gut is, honestly, if you were to ask me, all of us have such great dreams, such uh, aspirations for ourselves and for our children. We want them to conquer the world. But let's teach them the life skills to start with. Let's empower them with simple techniques of wellness, which according to me, what I practice is your lifestyle, your emotional well-being, and of course, what you feed your body, because what you feed your body is your body. And if we empower this, these techniques to our children, we enhance their gut wisdom. Their gut wisdom is full of knowledge when they travel around the seven seas and conquer what they have to. You know what? None of us as parents, mothers, fathers, siblings have to worry about the kids because we know they can take care of themselves. Let's expose them to the light within. Connect them to the roots, give them the light, and allow them to fly. And that is the intention of Happy Gut. That is the intention of my consults. And uh, because we've been on the other side of this journey, a part of our proceeds from Happy Gut there has to be a bit of giveaway. That is why you're here, because we found our purpose. We, a part of our receipts, we uh, support children with brain injuries, because if you've reached your purpose, you have to hold another hand and help them reach their purpose. So yes, the 15 minutes where I tried to club in all my 20 years of experience was just to say, let's connect to our roots, let's find the light within, and ready to fly. Thank you very much.